Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to have a little jewelry sale. Um, a lot of the pieces are signed. Some are vintage, others maybe not so much. And there are a few that are not signed. Um, we've got some items that are in perfect condition. We have some items that have some little flaws. Uh, these are all thrifted items, so it's kind of hard, especially with the older ones, to find perfect condition, but I'm going to try to price accordingly uh, to accommodate for what little flaws there are. Um, if you want to purchase something, you can email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com. And shipping is $5 for U.S. first class shipping. I do combine shipping. And it doesn't even have to be from this video. It can be across multiple videos. Um, so let's get started. And let's start with this one here. So this ring is not signed. But it's in really nice condition. Very pretty ring. I like it. I've always liked these uh, rose flower rings. And this one is about a size six and a half. And this will be five dollars. Five dollars for this ring. Really nice condition. Pretty, pretty flower ring. Then we have this ring. It is not signed. This is one of the pieces that is not signed. It's in really nice condition. It is an adjustable ring. First, I thought maybe this said something, but I think it's just scratching from, um, from the adjusting. And this ring is a size, let's see, six and three quarters. So I'm going to go $7 on this ring. $7 for that one. Then we have a pretty little ring with some amber color faux stones. It's in nice condition. I don't see any damage. It does have a little mark here, but I can't quite tell what that says. I think the first initial is an L, but then I, I can't tell what the rest of it is. And this is an eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Really pretty ring. This will be six dollars. All right, and then we have another ring again. It is signed, but I can't make out what it says. It's got a really pretty setting, the band is in really nice condition, it sparkles. It can pass. It can pass as something better than it is. <laughs> it is a five and three quarters, not adjustable. And this ring will be seven dollars. Okay, then we have this ring. Very pretty ring. It does have some light scratching on the faux pearl. So, but the rest of the ring is in really, really good shape. It has a really nice setting. All the rhinestones are there. Gorgeous setting. The band is in really nice condition. So I don't know how much of a problem that will be. It does have some light scratching. You might be able to replace that pearl. Um, that might be one way to solve this because the rest of the ring is in really nice shape. Or maybe that just won't bother you. So 
I'm going to go $4 on that one. Okay, then I have a Stella and Dot ring. The band does show somewhere. It is a kind of fancy cocktail ring. And it is missing, let's see, I found them earlier. It's missing a couple of little, a couple of little tiny crystals. Let's see, one is right here on the end. And the other one is here on the end. Yeah, I think it's just those two. The rest of it looks great. Well, other than the wear on the band, too. It is adjustable. It has a really nice setting. Those two tiny missing crystals, I don't think, detract at all. I mean, you would be the only one who would know. Nobody else would see that. And then this part, too, again... I mean, you would be the only one who would see that. So right now it sits at a six, but it is adjustable. I'm going to go $5 on this ring. I have another Stella and Dot. And let me see. We're missing one little crystal right there. I'm trying to remember if there was any others. It's hard to see. One here. One's missing here. So I think just two little crystals are missing. The band is in much better shape than the uh, last one. I think it's in good shape. It's got some light scratching, but nothing else. It is an adjustable ring. All right, now it sits at about a seven and a quarter. And I am going to say $6 for this Stella and Dot. Okay, then we have a Premier Design ring. And unfortunately, this one is also missing a couple of crystals. At first, I didn't see it. I didn't notice it. When I was thrifting these, I did not have my reading glasses on. <laughs> so it looked fine to me without my reading glasses. Uh, lesson learned. But um, the rest of the ring is in great condition. Like new condition. Not adjustable. It is a six and three quarters, and I'm going to say three dollars on this one because it's it's got some missing stones. All right, this one is also Premier Designs, and this one is in great condition. It has just a little bit of a rub right here. Otherwise... I think it's in really nice shape. Gorgeous ring. And this is a six and three quarters. So I'm gonna say $7 for this Premier Design. Okay, then we have these earrings. They are clip-on. The clips are in great condition. These are Trafari. They look like they've never been worn. The faux pearl in one of them is in great condition. Unfortunately, though, the faux pearl on the second one has these two little scratches. So I don't know how much that's going to bother someone. Um... Again, I don't think anybody would really notice. Otherwise, they're beautiful, gorgeous Trafari earrings. But you can decide whether 
that's a deal breaker for you. I'm going to go $4 on these just because they're not perfect. Okay, these are coral. And I think they are vintage. They look vintage to me. But they are not perfect. Uh, again, lesson learned. I need to wear my reading glasses when I when I thrift uh, jewelry because I'm not I'm not seeing as good as I thought I was. Um, so we're missing some of the clear rhinestones. We're missing most of them. We only have two here. We have just the one here. Um, I suppose you could take out the remaining ones and then it would kind of look like that's the way it was supposed to be. I don't know. The middle stones are in great shape. And I, I really like the setting. And uh, I mean, I think they're still beautiful, but they're not perfect. So somebody would need to either doll these up or maybe take these out and sort of pretend that's the design. Um, would leave that up to you to decide. And I am going to go $3 on these just because they've got some issues. I've got these clips and they are in great condition. They are signed. Let me find it. They were signed Moosey. M-U-S-I. And I was not familiar with that brand. I looked it up on eBay. These go for around $15. Uh, 10 to $15, you know, depending on the style, the size, the design. And these are almost two inches by an inch and a quarter. And I am going to ask $10 for these. These are in great condition. I don't see any flaws. All right, then we have a bracelet. And this is a Leah Sophia. Really pretty, excellent shape bracelet. I don't know if we can... There we go. I got it upside down. Leah Sophia, and there's even those little leaves inside. So gorgeous cuff bracelet. It is a six and three quarters. And I am going to say, quite heavy. Um, and I'm going to say $9 for this gorgeous Leah Sophia bracelet. Then I have two Leah Sophia rings. And let me see, do we have all the stones? Well, this one's missing one little rhinestone here. Again, not too noticeable. And this one's missing one little rhinestone right here. The rest look like they're all there. They're identical rings. They otherwise look brand new. The place where I bought these from, they kind of were just, they weren't, you know, they were just thrown on a table. And um, I got them at that antique uh, show video that you guys saw. And so, you know, I'm not surprised some of these items have lost their, their little stones. Okay, so this one's a size 8. And this one's a size 8. So they're pretty much identical. Uh, they've each lost one little stone. They're otherwise in great condition. So I'm going to go, let's see, are they adjustable? Not adjustable. So I'm going to say $6 each 
for those two. I don't think the one little missing stone really, really detracts. This one is also a Leah Sophia. Quite a blingy cocktail ring. We're missing one tiny stone right there. That's it. The rest, the rest of the ring looks to be in great condition. And this is a six and three quarters. So I'm gonna say, oh, let's see. Is this the same spot? Yeah, it's, it's just this one that's missing. So I'm gonna say $6 for this one, just cause again, it's not perfect. This one is also a Leo Sophia. And again, we're missing two little tiny stones here. And one little one here. The inside of the ring does have some rubbing. So again, if you just kind of look quickly, you can't really tell. If you really stop and analyze, then you start seeing, oh, some of these little stones are missing. So I learned my lesson. I got to wear my reading glasses when I do this. So this is a size 10. And I'm going to say $4 on this one. Because again, if you look quickly, it really doesn't show very much. Okay, then we have this ring. Very, very, very blingy, very pretty. All the stones are there. It is prong set. And the stones are in great shape, but the band shows quite a bit of wear. So not perfect, but only you are going to be able to really know about the band. This part of the ring is gorgeous. And this is a size, I'd say seven, a little over seven, between a seven and a seven and a quarter. And I'm going to go four dollars on that one. Okay. Then we have, let's see, this one is an Avon. The band is in really good shape. It is an adjustable ring. It has a really nice setting. I think this is a vintage Avon. So really nice setting. And this is a size eight and a half and I'm gonna say six dollars for this one okay then we have this ring really pretty stone nice prong setting a little bit of wear to the underside of the uh, band but this top area is in great shape. I don't see any damage there. And this is a size, let's see, I would say five and a half. And I'm going to say five dollars for that one. Okay, then we have this ring. Really pretty setting, gorgeous setting. Bands in like new condition. Stone looks really nice. I don't see any scratches or damage. 
This is a, I would say a seven. It does have a mark, but I can't read it. I tried with my loop, I tried with a magnifying glass, and I just, I just can't tell what it says. So I am going to say $8 for this ring. All right, then we have this pretty ring. All the stones are there. And the band is in great shape. It's got a gorgeous <clears throat> setting. Prong set. And let's see. Oh, this one says 18 karat HGE. So it's gold plated. 18 karat gold plated ring. And this is a size seven. So gorgeous, gorgeous ring. And I'm gonna say $8 for this one. All right, then we have this solitaire, probably cubic zirconia. Nice setting. Band is in good condition. I don't see any wear. I don't see any scratches. Um, it's got a 316 stamp, so this is stainless steel. And this is a size, just about a size six. So I'm going to say $8 for this one. That's a really pretty, pretty ring. All right, then we have a man's ring. And all the stones are there. It's in good condition. And let me see. It says SETA. S-E-T-A. S-E-T-A. Man's ring. And this is a size, just about a size 12 and a half. So I'm going to go $10 on this ring okay then we have another solitaire kind of an orangey orangey caramel kind of color a really pretty setting it is not magnetic and it is marked sterling or 925 now, I can't remember how it was marked exactly. It's hard to see. I uh, looked at it through my loop earlier and I tested it and I think it's maybe sterling plated. Um, it did test that it had some sterling, but it also scratched up kind of coppery. So still a real pretty ring in good condition the band doesn't show a lot of wear maybe just some minor wear on the band and this is a seven and a quarter so i'm gonna say eight dollars for this one all right, then we have this ring. Let me see, I can't remember what it said. This may be another one that I couldn't read. Yeah, this was one I also couldn't read. And all the stones are there, from what I can tell. The band is in really nice condition. And this is about an eight and three quarters. It's kind of got this ombre look to it. And I'm going to say $7 for that one. 
Then we have this ring, beautiful prong setting, really nice setting. The band is in great condition. And this one says Thailand, and it doesn't say anything else. And this is a size six and three quarters. So I'm gonna go $9 on this one. Really pretty. Okay, then we have this gorgeous ring. I'm just in love with this setting. It's um, it's got this druzy kind of look to it. Now it does say, look at the underside. The underside is gorgeous. Um, down here it says, let me see where is it. It says bronze, and then let me get my loop. Can't remember what the rest of it was. So I think this one is also gold plated. Let me see. Well, it does say eighteen K. It says BC 18K, BC 18K. And if I remember correctly, I tested this when I brought it back from the show, from the antique show, and it did not test 18K. Let's see. So not magnetic. Let me bring out my, um, solution again. Let's just test it together. Actually, it's right here. So give me one minute. I'd rather do this than have to splice together the video. Okay, let's see. Let's just try this. All right. So, yeah, see, it disappears. So I don't think the uh, stamp is accurate. And I, I was going to try 14K too, but there's no need because 18K, well, let's just try it. <laughs> 18K dissolves it. Let's just make sure that 14K dissolves it too. Yeah, 14K dissolves it. I did test this ring and I was so disappointed <laughs> when it when it um it turned out not to be 18K, but it's not magnetic. So it is gorgeous. It is just a gorgeous ring though, and I love this setting. So this is a size, let's see, a size uh, seven. I would say a size seven. And I am still going to go $10 on this one because it's in perfect condition. It's a gorgeous ring. $10 for that one. And then I have this ring in great condition you know though it looks like there's a little bit of vertigray here right here yeah let's see yep i'm gonna i'm gonna not price this one i'm gonna have to get this uh cleaned so we're gonna skip that all right, this ring, I believe, is vintage. And let's see, what does this 
say, can I even make that out? Hmm. Oh, probably base metal. I think that's what it says, base metal. It is adjustable, but look, it's a little watch. And it's um, automatic. I did, um, I did wind this up earlier just to see if it works and it worked for a little while but I didn't wind it very much so it says I believe it's Linga L-E-N-G-A let's get the uh yeah it says Linga automatic Swiss made. And then as far as this part of the ring goes, there's one little crystal missing here. Otherwise, it's a nice, nice condition. Like I said, it did work for a little while. So I don't know if that's its limit, if that's how long it's going to work. I wound it up around 9 o'clock. So it worked for about four and a half hours. So, And I didn't wind it very much. So I think... I think it would work. Uh, where it is right now, this is a size seven but uh, it could um, it could be you know smaller or larger so I'm gonna go $20 on this just because it's so unique $20 for that one and then the last items I have are this brooch and earring set by Sarah Coventry and in great condition. I don't see any flaws. All these little pieces are fine. The underside is fine. So what does this say? It says Sarah Cov and here it says patent pending. And let's see, I'm going to have to clean that up for you guys, too. Vinegar, I've found, cleans up vertigree very well. This one will be easy to clean. The ring may be a little harder. More nooks and crannies. Um, this one says Sarah Cove, too. And then the brooch says Sarah Cove here so the brooch is two and a half by two and a half and the earrings are one and a half by about one and three quarters so i'm selling this as a set and uh, this will be $20 for, for the set. And I will make sure I get that vertigree off. So $20 for this Sarah Coventry set. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.